A huge new species of interstellar explorer has entered our solar system, an object so immense and brilliant that astronomers describe it as nearly 100 times larger and brighter than 3 Atlas. On September 12, 2025, it was first noticed using the SWAN instrument aboard the ESO spacecraft. Its discovery immediately triggered a series of global observations. Within 48 hours, a comet hunter from Australia, Michael Matiazzo, captured a stunning image that utterly baffled scientists. This wasn't another tourist from the void, it was completely different. A spectacle blazing toward the sun with a ferocity that dwarfs every known comet sighting in recent memory. Its sudden appearance has already ignited debates among astronomers. Some call it the most significant galaxy-wide object established since Oumuamua. Others suggest its timing arriving just as 3 Atlas closes in on its own solar encounter cannot be random. If you enjoy solving mysteries like this one and want to stay updated on discoveries that alter how we perceive the universe, make sure to subscribe for more. Its physical features are just as astonishing. The newcomer's tail stretches nearly to astronomical units across the sky roughly five times the width of the full moon as seen from Earth. Against this stunning expanse of light, 3 Atlas's own thin filament of a tail looks almost insignificant, like the trail of a lone match stick compared to a wildfire. The sheer scale of this tail indicates enormous energy or material release far beyond what a typical comet would produce. Some astronomers even speculate it might not simply be due to outgoing heat from the sun, but instead the result of a controlled or directed phenomenon. Its brightness and sharply defined tail make it one of the most visually striking objects ever captured by amateur and professional telescopes alike a glowing sphere cutting across the cosmic dark. The International Astronomical Union moved quickly to classify and name the object formally designating it CC to O2 to 5R to SWAN after its instrument of discovery. Initially known as SWAN to 5B, its naming cemented its place in the astronomical record but did little to quell the inquiries. Unlike 3 Atlas, a product of a particular region near the galactic core SWAN's origin point is radically different. It came shouting from Aquarius on a totally unrelated trajectory, making the idea that they are fragments of the same body almost impossible. This independence deepens the mystery to unrelated interstellar objects arriving in our solar system within months of each other, both on course to meet the sun at nearly the same moment. For many in the scientific community, this coincidence strains belief. Could two such wanderers really appear back to back after ends of silence? Or are we witnessing something coordinated, some cosmic event larger than we understand? This sense of timing is what troubles astronomers most. SWAN will make its closest approach to the sun its perihelion at a distance of roughly 150 million kilometers. A few days later, 3 Atlas will pass at 103 million kilometers. The difference on a cosmic scale is razor thin, barely 50 million kilometers apart, and the gap is narrowing as both are subtly altered by gravitational forces and velocities. For a brief moment in October 2025, the two objects will disappear from all telescopes swallowed by the blinding glare of the sun. When they emerge again, their paths may be forever changed or one may not reappear at all. Astronomers are bracing for what could be a first-of-its-sky natural experiment to interstellar travelers possibly negotiating, communicating, or even crashing into each other unseen. Whatever occurs during those obscure weeks close to the sun could rewrite what we know about comets, interstellar matter, and perhaps even intelligent design in the universe. As both interstellar objects close in on the heart of the solar system, the timing becomes increasingly eerie. Swan's perihelion its closest approach to the sun will be roughly 150 million kilometers, practically the same distance as Earth's orbit. Just a few days later, 3 Atlas will follow on its own path, passing the sun at about 103 million kilometers. They are separated by just 50 million kilometers. This may appear enormous to human eyes, but on a cosmic scale, it is the equivalent of two bullets passing within inches of each other. 
Even more unsettling is the fact that during this crucial moment, both objects will vanish from view, hidden behind the sun's blazing disk. For weeks, no telescope on Earth will be able to track them. It is as though the universe itself has drawn a curtain, leaving humanity blind to whatever is about to unfold. Astronomers are preparing for this blackout with a mix of dread and anticipation. When the two visitors reappear on the other side, their courses may be drastically altered, revealing whether they experienced a gravitational interaction or perhaps something no one expects. Will they accelerate, decelerate, or shift trajectories entirely? Some even speculate about the possibility of a near-miss or, more dramatically, a collision. If either object fragments near perihelion, the resulting debris could shower the inner solar system, creating a spectacular meteor display or a hazard to satellites and spacecraft. Whatever the outcome, the October window represents a unique alignment, and its implications may extend far beyond astronomy. What is most disconcerting, however, are the characteristics these items appear to possess. Data from 3i Atlas has already shaken the scientific community. Spectroscopy suggests its composition is dominated by pure nickel without the iron content normally found in natural meteoritic material. This peculiar makeup alone would be enough to spark debate. But it is the energy readings that have truly alarmed researchers. Instruments have recorded emissions in line with a sustained 10 gigawatt power source buried deep within the object equivalent to 50 nuclear power plants working together. Even stranger, its tail does not behave like ordinary cometary outgassing. Instead of a chaotic spray of sublimating ice, its emissions form a narrow, columnar jet as if under deliberate control. The flow is constant, maintaining a fixed velocity, and at perihelion its color abruptly shifts from red to green an event that Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb calls thrust modulation. In his view, the object is not merely venting gas but actively steering, adjusting its trajectory as solar heating increases. If 3i Atlas resembles a probe, Swan R2 is something far more formidable. Early observations indicate a sheath of highly ionized plasma surrounding its core, creating a shimmering barrier capable of deflecting charged particles from solar energy. Unlike a passive cometary coma, this shield seems to fluctuate dynamically, almost as though it were being tuned in real time. Its vast, luminous tail spanning five full moons suggests immense power behind its emissions. Even more astonishing, small periodic changes in brightness have been detected, hinting at bursts of controlled propulsion. These light pulses are consistent with those of a high-efficiency plasma drive, gently but precisely nudging the object along its path. Spectral analysis further revealed traces of nickel-cobalt plasma mixed with carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide, a chemical cocktail that does not match any known natural process. Producing such a mixture would require temperatures and confinement by magnetism beyond anything that occurs spontaneously in comets. And then there is the actual core. If 3i Atlas's 10 gigawatt output was shocking, Swan's core is awe-inspiring. Its energy levels are calculated to exceed 10,000 gigawatts every second. To put this in perspective, that is nearly the total power consumption of human civilization compressed into a single interstellar machine. Some theorists compare it to the energy release of merging black holes scaled down but perfectly contained. In other words, if 3i Atlas is a scout, Swan is a leviathan a fortress crossing the void on a mission that eludes simple classification. Swan's core is claimed to output more than 10,000 gigawatts every second in amount of energy so stupendous that it dwarfs the entire electrical consumption of Earth by orders of magnitude. This is not a mere cometary nucleus, it is a controlled power source, a reactor humming at a level we can barely imagine. If such a device truly exists, it implies technology capable of sustaining, regulating, and containing energy on a scale that rivals cosmic events. The idea that an object could traverse interstellar space, survive for tens of thousands of years, and then activate or brighten precisely as it nears our sun suggests a system that is not just durable but intelligent. 